What is up, everybody? This is Dave coming to you from Primetime Carolina. Uh, wanted to throw a quick video together today. Um, there's some news that broke earlier from uh, Panthers training camp, and I kind of wanted to cover it, give you a little bit of an opinion on it, um, what I think may or may not be going on with this situation. So earlier today, uh, news broke that the Panthers signed Josh Bynes. Um, on the surface, this seems like, you know, a normal training camp signing. Uh, someone who can come in and play some linebacker for the Panthers if need be. Um, this article is coming straight off the Panthers' website. It says, with Denzel Perriman facing a longer-than-expected absence because of a training camp injury um, and no one else, the Panthers added some experience. They signed veteran linebacker Josh Bynes Wednesday before headed to Indianapolis for joint practices with the Colts. The soon-to-be 32-year-old Bynes started every game for the Bengals last year. He began his career as an undrafted rookie with the Ravens. He played with Hassan Reddick. Now, all of that sounds good and dandy, but it poses a bit of a question when he's coming in and stepping in for a guy like Denzel Perryman, who has injury history in the past. So the question this brings up in my eyes is this potentially a season long fix at linebacker. Are we not through training camp yet? And we're ready to admit that Denzel Perryman might not be able to make it through a whole year. It's possible. Denzel Perryman is a guy who has a history with injuries. Um, in the last 32 games, he's only started 16 for the Chargers. And this was a big issue for him when it came to being released in the first place, how he ended up in Carolina. So it's interesting um, that the Panthers would bring in a guy with starting experience. It's possible they brought in this guy to fill that place, to fill that void, because they're ready to admit that maybe Denzel Perryman's not ready to play for a whole season. Now, if you want to jump over and look at the stats, um, Bynes played 16 games last year and had 94 tackles. Cool. That sounds great. You know, 94 tackles. Anytime your linebackers are close to 100 tackles, you call that, you know, you kind of check a box. You say, that sounds good. And that does sound good, but, you know, when I look at a guy like James Anderson for the Panthers, who once had um, close to 140, 150 tackles, you know, James Anderson's career fizzled out pretty fast once he left Carolina, so. It, you know, I don't know. We'll see what happens, I guess. Um, if you remember James Anderson, he was phased out pretty quick when Luke Keekley was drafted and Thomas Davis was able to stay healthy after his knee injuries. Um, so this was – another part of this I thought that was interesting was Jermaine Carter was listed as the middle linebacker on the team's first depth chart. And I believe this was before this signing was announced. So it'll be interesting to see who they give that role to between Bynes and Jermaine Carter. And, you know, in my opinion, I would give it to Jermaine Carter. Give it to the young guy uh, rather than, you know, to the vet you just brought in in case you need him. But, you know, like I said, I'm not convinced that this might not be a more permanent fix. Um, now Denzel Perryman is a player I do love. I mean, or I love the idea of him, I guess, uh, when he's on the field, he's a great player. That being said, I'm not convinced this might not be more of a long-term fix, long-term, short-term, year-long, year-long fix. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, anyway, so. I just wanted to share my thoughts. Um, if any of you have any thoughts you want to share with me, you can reply to those thoughts. Um, you know, do you think Bynes 
is potentially here for a more uh, substantial role um, with the team than they're letting on? Or do you think Denzel Perryman can actually make it through a whole season? It's uh, not sure it's something he's ever done. He definitely hasn't done it in the last two years. So uh, we'll see what happens. Something I thought was kind of interesting here on this article from the team site, and uh, I might be, you know, reading too much into it, but it really feels like for a guy who is just stepping into camp to, you know, fill a role, um, seems like they're trying to sell the guy pretty good to the fans. I don't know. Maybe I've been reading too many conspiracy theories online, but uh, mentioning things like, he was part of Auburn's 2011 championship team. Uh, he made the winning tackle in the Super Bowl. I don't know. It seems weird that you're trying to sell the fans on a 32-year-old who has one year of starting experience with what was probably the worst team in the league last year. But anyway, I don't know. I'm probably reading too much into it. I just thought that was kind of interesting. I feel this vibe like – they're kind of leaving the door open that this might actually be our middle linebacker after we've been trying to sell you this other guy since we signed him over the off season. But anyway, like I said, you know, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if you're still here, appreciate you listening. Uh, if you want more Panthers coverage, hit me with the, uh, hit me with a like, hit me with a subscribe and we'll catch you next time here at uh, the primetime. Carolina podcast. Peace out guys. Have a good night.